Hey guys, how's it going? And welcome to a new series on a game called Prison Architect. I thought this would be pretty interesting while I was doing The Escapist to also play the complete opposite side of the whole thing, and that is creating a prison to contain prisoners, obviously, because that's what prisons do. So let's just create a new prison, and I'm going to start off with small. I'm incredibly shit at this game. I only had like one little go the other day and decided to make some videos on it, see what you guys think, so please let me know, and any tips would be fucking fantastic as well. So, let's get playing. Okay, so you've got, like, the deliveries and stuff like that. Uh, these are all my workmen, you know, coming in, right in the back of a lorry, like it's, I don't know, Mexico or something. I've been to Mexico, so I'm not too sure if that actually happens. And let's just build some foundations, because that's what we need to do to actually build a building, so... I don't know why I can't build any fucking foundations. There we go. Right. So we need to build some kind of power plant things for our electricity and our water to be pumped around. So them two should do. And add some entrances. So just some shitty staff doors into there, because they need to be fairly low protection. And they're the cheapest ones we can get. So let's let these guys do that. And let's just build some other foundations as well. So we need a holding cell. Obviously when the prisoners come in from Australia. Just kidding. Just kidding. Um, they can actually be seated here until they wait and all that stuff. So we need to also put a room in there as well. And I think what happens on this is basically a lot of the, the kind of prisoners trying to escape and stuff. You get like max security prisoners, etc, etc in there. And all that kind of good shit, so it should be fairly interesting. And then we need a proper cell as well. So let's just build one fucking huge one, because I don't think we get many prisoners to start off with in there. So it should take a while. I'm going to build that shit up. Let's have a look at the surrounding area. So they come in, the actual prisoners arrive in 22 hours, in which case loads of them will probably escape, because I am... Again, incredibly shit at this, so, you know, we will see. Right, so, that's actually finished, so let's get a, um, let's do the power station first. Just pop that inside there. You can actually put capacitors on there, like flux capacitors or whatever. That's not back to the future. And, um, they'll actually boost the power and stuff like that, so let's just do this cabling. Oh, shit. Get that pumping round, and I'm just gonna actually do this even further than I need to, just because I think this. I had a bit of a problem with kind of actually doing stuff beforehand um, in actually powering stuff when stuff had already been built. So I think you can actually do it when the foundations are there. Probably wasting far too much money, but I did do the tutorial this time, didn't make the same mistake as the escapists. And right, okay, so this is all getting built now. They should stop putting the cabling down. And we also need to build, once this is finished, a nice little water station as well. So holding cells, well, the foundations of the cell and the holding cell have now been built. I've just been putting some large water pipe, which has cost me a shit ton of money. So I need to actually separate this with a concrete wall. Stop the holding cell prisoners getting into the other cell and vice versa. So let's just get some objects, and I want to get a jail door there as well, to keep them feed them bastards inside. And that should be built, and then all I need to do now is actually map out the room, so holding cell is this one here, it's all about, is it there? Probably there actually. It's got a holding cell, and then we have a cell here. And then there's certain prerequisite items that you need to put in to complete a building, so I need a bed and a toilet. And then this one, I think I need a toilet and a bench. So let's just chuck that shit in as well. And it's all come together pretty nicely. Let's just put shit out right in the corner so everyone can see them having a dump. And we'll put a bench in there as well. I think you can put like a phone booth in here. Let's put two benches. Fuck it, three benches. Never know how many prisoners are going to come in. So the water pipe is going pretty well. Oh shit, I haven't actually got a water station. Right, obviously. So let's put a water pump station in there, just right there, and that should go through. If I look at my utilities, I can actually see everything that's gone in. 
And I think I might have mapped it up properly this time. You're probably watching this like, no, you're a fucking dumbass. You haven't done this properly whatsoever. But, you know, that's fine. What can you do? And... My pipe valve... Ah, fuck a pipe valve. Don't need that. So I need to build a shower block and a staff room as well, I think. And I can build just like a shitty little yard somewhere as well. Um, but that doesn't need any electricity. Maybe a light if I was to nitpick. But... Let's just take a quick look around. These guys are just building. And I can obviously speed up time. So they start building slightly quicker. But the prisoners are arriving fairly shortly. And I am nowhere near getting anything completed. So probably have a few escapees relatively quickly, I think. I've managed to build my shower block. And I'll just show you guys that. Just right there. So we've got a cell with all the beds in. And all that good stuff. Holding cell. Uh, the power stations seem to be working fine, and I'm just building a staff room here as well. I've put a shitty concrete wall with a large door there, uh, so they can just get marched into the holding cell and can drop the soap in there or whatever, or, you know, I don't know what goes on in prison. And um, basically, if I get that there, I need a warden's office. And I've also got three guards here as well who are doing absolutely fuck all. But anyway, so I need to put water through here, I think, through the shower. And because I've got the large pipes actually pumping the water around the kind of facility, I can just use small pipes off that and just loop them around, I believe, like this. And that should connect to that there, I think. I hope so, anyway. But yeah, coming along pretty nicely. I've got 2 hours and 50 minutes and need to get some concrete walls up just to... Just to scop, scop um, just to stop them all escaping. I think I only get a few prisoners in at the beginning, as far as I know. Not entirely sure. So let's just get some materials and put a concrete wall just around the back. I think that should do us for now, and then I should be able to connect that to the shower. And uh, I do actually need to get some more guards on the go as well. So let's just go to staff. You know, you can get cooks. Oh shit! I need a kitchen. Um, right, let's just make a, just a shitty brick one. Um, probably best doing that over here somewhere. And yeah, should be alright there. So we've got two hours left before they actually do come in. Which is, uh, which is pretty bad. Pretty bad stuff. As I can't see that being ready whatsoever. So I'm going to put a jail door on this as well. I don't know if they'll try and leg it out of there. But it should be okay once that's finished. And everything should be lined up. Just build a shitty yard there. I think. I think more or less I should have everything other than a warden's office, which I should probably be able to put externally so he can just walk in and all that good stuff. But right, let's just get this staff room going. So I need to just feed some electrical cable through there and I think through the door. Like so. I think that's the way it works anyway. And then get the actual objects that I need, which is a wide sofa and a drinks machine. So let's get that wide sofa, just place that in the corner. Not too bothered how it looks. Um, shit. Where's the drinks machine? Let's just type that in. The game's actually really cool. Like, it's incredibly addictive. I'm not too sure how good it'll be to watch me just build something. But uh, I assume it's going to get really entertaining when prisoners start escaping and you've got to introduce preventive measures and all that good stuff as well. I also need to put some electric cabling through here so let's do that now. Um, I have to feed that down there and down there as it can't go through foundations apparently which I suppose is understandable. I'm probably using excess here unfortunately but providing I can get stuff up and running correctly to start with I can then adjust later on. So the first prisoners have just arrived and they're getting escorted in by some guards. So I'm going to actually get some more guards on the go. I think I'll need slightly more. Who's this guy? Is that guy a prisoner? Yeah, that guy's a prisoner. Right, okay. Looks slightly different. I don't know if he's... Right, so I've got eight prisoners and I'm only safe enough to have one. Which is a tiny bit of a problem. What the fuck's just gone on there? Right, all the power's gone out. Oh, fuck. I did learn about this in the tutorial, but... I can't remember what to do. Switch off. Right, switch on. There we go. Ah, right, okay. So I need to get some capacitors, I think, in there, just to boost the power up slightly. So they're an expensive job, unfortunately. So let's put one, 
put that right there. In fact, we'll put two in. Safe measure. Hopefully, we have got enough money to actually do everything else. As this keeps kicking off a bit, but you know, these are all in darkness. Couldn't give a shit the prisoners, you know. Do the crime, serve the time. In darkness with a dirty shitter, as far as I'm concerned. I've managed to build quite a bit of the actual jail now, and it's getting together nicely. I had a bit of a problem earlier with some prisoners, one of them who is there, who uh, unfortunately decided, you know, to attack one of the uh, one of the guards, and uh, yeah, it's pretty bad. Got the kitchen up and running, and I actually need some kind of janitorial stuff to clean everything up and just oversee stuff. Which means I'm going to have to buy a warden, or hire a warden, and build a warden's office. I haven't actually got the money at the moment to do that, so I'm going to have to wait for a while. Um, I'm not too sure why I can only... Why my safe capacity is only one. Um, I'm not too sure how to up that, so if you guys want to tell me that below, that would be pretty brilliant. Any of you guys that have actually played this, you know, incredibly new to it. And even though I did play through the tutorial properly... Hooray for me, well done, etc. Um, I couldn't actually work out, like, kind of what was going on, you know, with the whole safe capacity thing and stuff like that. I worked out all the electricity and how to execute someone and all that good stuff, but unfortunately, not the other thing. So, some other prisoners arriving in a couple of hours. And uh, no, just getting some meals together, stuff like that. And once I do get some proper money in, I will kind of expand slightly further onwards. So some more prisoners have just arrived, and not a lot's happening, to be honest. Um, I can't do anything without any money. I mean, I can get bonuses and stuff by building a basic detention centre. So I need two guards, two cooks, holding cells, shower, yard, kitchen, and a canteen. Oh, there we go. All right, so I've got a grant, and I've actually done that as well. All right, that's pretty good. So the next one... I need to do is to build two offices, hire a warden, unlock a finance, unlock finance through bureaucracy, and hire an accountant as well. So I think I can get building some more stuff now with the money and the grant I've just had, which is pretty cool. So let's just build that around here. I think we'll have some office kind of blocks there. Oh my god, let's just fuck off. There we go. <laughs> right. So let's just get a door in there as well. Just put a normal staff door. And I do need to get a solitary up as well. Some solitary confinement. So I think I'm going to put that towards the back of here. So let's get another foundation up. Now I've got some, some money to spend. Okay, and I'm going to put a prison, well, a solitary door between that and there. This could be a really, really fucking bad idea, but you never know. You never know. Shit, am I going to be able to have electricity through it? Yeah, I should be able to. So I need to get these pipes up pretty quickly, I think. Electricity cable. Just get that. Oh, no shit, I've got cables. Ah, oh, fuck it. It's probably a really bad uh, thing to do with a man with hardly any any dollar. And um, we've got some water going through there as well. So we should be fine. Right, let's just... In fact, I can use small pipes to do that. So we should be good once that's done. We can get that up and running, get the warden's office there, then we can hire accountants and janitors. And then uh, get some solitary for, you know, bad, bad folks. But getting quite a few prisoners, I want to hire a tiny bit more guards just to throw some of them in. I mean, it's so easy to spend money, but the game is the game is brilliant. Like, it's seriously addictive. Um, and I think we're probably going to get some escapees soon because... Uh, no, we haven't. We've only got some normal risk prisoners in at the moment. Can we open it to low risk as well? Yeah, fuck it. That's probably a really bad idea. Probably need to get another cook as well. As uh, need to feed all these bastards. So let's just get another cook in there. There we go. So we've got three cooks, you know. Too many cooks spoil the broth, is it? Not in a prison term, because you're only getting, like, served, like, fried shit in a batch and stuff, so, you know, fuck them. <laughs> so I've managed to get a warden's office in, I've now got a warden, a bureaucracy, and all that good stuff. I've put a few beds in solitary, and Riku Valley Vask is now, uh, you know, suffering the consequences of being an absolute twat to one of the guards. And seems to be a bit of a gangman going on in the yard as well, which I suppose is fine, and all that good stuff. But uh, yeah, it's going pretty well, and I'm going to leave the episode here, 
and probably start next week by building, I think, a visitation centre here, uh, just to calm down the prisoners slightly, and then try and get bureaucracy as well, and get prison grade in, etc, etc, but not bad for day three, got a decent amount of money now, probably need to get some more capacitors in there, in fact I'll do that now just quickly, before I forget, and uh, yeah, should be good to go, got like a a decent amount going on, I'm not getting an incredible amount of cash flow, but I can get prisoners to actually work for me and stuff like that, which should be pretty interesting. If we get like a garden on and stuff, I think you can use that as produce in the canteen. I could be making that up, I'm not too sure, it just seems logical. But thanks for watching guys, let me know what you think down below, and I will see you soon.